Let's look into critical chain method in this video, which is another type of network diagram method. The critical chain method is a schedule method that allows the project team to place buffers on any project schedule path, to account for limited resources and project uncertainties. It is developed from the critical path method approach and considers the effects of resource location, resource optimization, resource leveling, and activity duration uncertainty, on the critical path determined using the critical path method. The critical chain method adds duration buffers that are non-work schedule activities to manage uncertainty. One buffer, placed at the end of the critical chain, as shown in figure, is known as the project buffer and protects the target finish date from slippage along the critical chain. Additional buffers, known as feeding buffers, are placed at each point, where a chain of dependent activities that are not on the critical chain feeds into the critical chain. Feeding buffers, thus protect the critical chain from slippage along the feeding chains. The size of each buffer should account for the uncertainty in the duration of the chain of dependent activities leading up to that buffer. Once the buffer schedule activities are determined, the planned activities are scheduled to their latest possible planned start and finish dates. Consequently, instead of managing the total float of network paths, the critical chain method focuses on managing the remaining buffer duration against the remaining duration of chains of activities. Hope this video is helpful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share your comments. Stay subscribed for more knowledge sharing videos. Thank you for watching this video.